You might be wondering, why are there these two coffee cups over here? Well, to answer your question, they were freshly brewed just for this video. Welcome back to Third of Through My Eyes, where today I'll be finishing the third three-part series about all the aspects of coffee. Coffee is needed across the world to uphold each nation. Brazil, for example, if you've seen my first video, you would already know that Brazil, the world's top producer of coffee, needs coffee for its revenue to uphold the country. But speaking on a relatively lower scale, many people work in coffee industries to so make sure that the salary is paid and make sure that they can uphold their own lives. So today we'll be talking about the employment and the process of making coffee. However, employment of coffee is no recent matter. Long ago when coffee had just started being planted, employers used to use slaves because they needed people who worked for very less pay. Nowadays there are different methods of sowing and growing coffee. Most of the world uses a method where they plant about 20 coffee seeds together in one pot to save space. Soon when the coffee plants grow, only 50% of them survive. However, Brazil on the other hand uses a completely different ingenious method. This method is when they use coffee seeds and they plant them in nurseries. After 6 or 12 months, they transplant these saplings into the field where they grow into fully grown coffee trees. This goes to show why Brazil is such a successful coffee growing country. Hmm, that's nice. Going back to our topic. So, where were we? Oh yes, so the red bean of the coffee are handpicked by either the farmers or the people that the farmers employ. Coffee isn't a very what to say, automated business and is, and is mainly uh, due to humans as they have to pluck it hand picked. You cannot use machines to hand pick coffee as if the bean falls down it is completely useless. Now moving on, the red bean of the coffee is moved into a drying area. This drying area is where people take the coffee Put it on a tanning bed, a type of bed where it allows air to reach the coffee bean on both sides. People then have to like move the coffee beans about to make sure that the air touches all the coffee beans. These coffee beans are then roasted and then ground. Now I spent my winter holidays in my aunt's coffee estate in Karnataka. It's called the Sangamesha Coffee Estate. There, I've, I've gone through and seen all the different types and ways to make coffee which I've discussed with you in this video. Coffee is an ancient drink, yet it has adapted so much to fit all our needs and wants of the 21st century. Maybe you could walk into Ego Life, where they ground coffee right before your very eyes. Or you could visit a local department store where you can buy pre-made coffee decoction. Or maybe you could simply just walk into a cafe, save all the work and just buy a cup of coffee. The point is, as I just said, coffee has adapted so much. Now, as I've talked about all the aspects of coffee, as I could think of from the three-part video series, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to like and subscribe.